Hi guys, Ryan here and you're watching Motivation in Motion. How are you today? All right, um, topic discussion today is about the benefit we will get if we turn ourselves to God. So what are these benefits we will get if we turn ourselves to God? Now, really guys, it's easy to see, uh, it's easy to say these things if you are not in a good or, or in a bad situation right if you're not in a bad situation however um imagine yourself if you're the victim of those um bombing that was going on in the philippines right now there was a bombing and it killed 20 20 people imagine yourself if you are one of the relative and your brother or your sister was there inside and unfortunately they were killed because of this terrorist attack would you still believe that there is God in our life? Really? Imagine yourself in that situation. Or if you are bombarded with all the challenges in life, if you have the problems that you cannot solve in, 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 in regards to your relationship to your wife, in relationship to your colleague, or if you feel that you are burdened, you don't have the directions to go, do you feel that God is still watching you or God is still with you. It's really difficult, right? I know, it's really difficult. However, these are the benefits we will get if we turn ourselves to God. Benefit number one, if we turn ourselves to God, we will feel that there is victory over fear. Now, what do you mean by that, victory over fear? Um, fear, what is the definition of fear? Fear is false evidence appearing real. Now guys, if you really feel that statistics says that you're not going nowhere, you are stuck in the middle, I will remind you about the I will remind you about the story of Caleb in the Old Testament. Caleb was one of the spies that was sent by Moses to to check the land of Canaan, the, the promised land. However, it's not it's not a simple task because there's a lot of enemies in that land. And many people doubt that they're going to be a victory because they know they they know the statistics they know that they don't have the army they have lack um they don't have much manpower so it's difficult however um however caleb stand out he told the people that there is no impossible in god all right there's no impossible in god so what happened? Caleb were, were, were victorious of getting the land that was promised to them. All right? So no matter what you feel right now, um, you, may, you might be very fear, fearful of what, you, of what you're doing right now. Always remember that God can always do a miracle to your life. That just keep on believing. Just keep on being faithful to Him. Be courageous. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is doing the right thing despite of fear. Okay? And number two benefit if we turn ourselves to God. Turning ourselves to God will create a character and faithfulness. What do you mean by that? Turning to God will create a character and faithfulness. How do we stretch, uh, how do we build our muscles? We can only build our muscles if we strain and stretch right if we strain and stretch that's how we build the muscles go to the gym and how do we build our spiritual muscles we can only build our spiritual muscles if we pray to the lord we give time to the lord maybe 15 minutes of your time daily or five minutes just thank him just praise him in that way your character of being faithful to god will grow Walking with God is not easy. You know in the story of, uh, you know the disciples, right? They walk with Jesus Christ. They walk with Him real time. However, when, when Christ died, they became fearful. They became wimpy, scared. But that doesn't, um, that doesn't mean that what they feel in that moment, moment is permanent it's only ordinary uh, it's only temporary okay but the moment you 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 accept that there is god in your life 
that is the moment that you are being you know some somehow inside your someone somehow inside your heart be you're being courageous because you know no matter what challenges you are facing god is with you so your faith grows and your character grows as a christian who believes in jesus christ grows in you all right and lastly um the benefit we will get if we turn ourselves to god there is a promise of eternal life okay there is a promise of eternal life now guys living in this world we are so busy doing something we are busy doing our business um, because doing our business now yeah that's good and the reward is financial freedom right uh, maybe up to your old age you'll get financial freedom that's what you get however if you believe in God the reward is eternity you're not only you are not looking you're not only looking the reward for just a short period of time it could be billions of <laughs> billion fold right that's eternity that's a promise by God given to us so just chill okay keep on believing keep on trusting put God put Jesus Christ in in um in in our lives in the center of our lives be courageous to say the lord that you are my savior all right so these are the things these are the benefit we will get if we turn ourselves to god okay so um hope to see you again on my next video thank you have a good one